Hello, welcome to Kairos House. Today we are going to be making some wax lube. Um, got this off another YouTube video, but I'm going to make my own because um, I need to make up some more wax anyway. Um, I bought a new rice cooker. You don't have to buy this one. That's just the one I'm using. That's the monster. It's a 1.8 litre capacity. And this is my old one. Um, that's just a wax heater. That was 500 mil capacity. Um, as you can see, it's not very big. I can't get my chain in there very easily. I can't get my rear, rear cassette in there very easily. So uh, that one dwarfs the new one. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, melt that down so I can show you what consistency you're after. And then we're going to use two products, namely, um, I'm going to use lamp oil, which is a, let me see, where is it? It is a paraffin liquid, yeah, liquid paraffin. And we're also going to use uh, Easy Melt Paraffin Wax. So what I'll do is I'll put all of that in the new machine and then add the oil until I get the right consistency. So, we'll just get uh, this one melted, then I can show you the consistency, and then we'll make, uh, we'll make our new stuff in the big one. Cut you in a bit. Uh, something that I just will add, um, I've just taken, poured that wax out, and, um, what you might find, because I sonic clean everything before I put it in the wax, um, you might find a few particles uh, get to the bottom, like bits of dirt and maybe a bit of metal comes off or something. Um, once that, once the wax hardens, what you can simply do is scrape off the bottom into the bin, and um, here you can see the consistency. So it's not hard, and it's not, it's not. A liquid. If we just uh, get that bit up, that's the kind of it's kind of like mushy. That's the kind of consistency that you're after. Um, just trying to focus in on there. So I've just coated. If I rub my hand, so it coats it, but not um. Overly. Now if we bring in the knife, imagine this is your chain, yeah, it, um, it coats the metal, yeah, and it flakes a little bit, see, so that's what we're after, not too runny. Obviously, as you're riding around, this will just fall off as a chain. See, it's falling off into the bottom there. But it stays on, and it keeps staying on. And as it gets dirty, if it gets uh, some dirt in it, it, uh, it just falls off. But it keeps coating, and it keeps coating. It lasts for ages. I think I... I can't remember. Well, I coated my chain, and then... For the whole, well, not the whole summer, but a long portion of the summer, I didn't really touch it again. And it was perfect. It just keeps, see, you can't rub it off. It's perfect stuff. And um, it's clean too. You don't get any of this black chain that I've had with other lubes. Yeah, you get that black rubbish when you run a cloth over it. This stuff is awesome. Um, yeah, so that's what we're after. So what we'll do is we'll just melt this down um, in the new part and uh, I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I've just tipped in all of that. Um, here we can see it melting. It shouldn't take too long. It smells not very pleasant, but that's life. So this is the um, paraffin wax and we're, then we're going to pour in the oil a bit at a time to uh, get the right consistency. 
um, with this uh, 1.8 litre monster I'm going to have plenty of room to put stuff in there okay so that's uh, melting nicely and we'll just uh, wait for that to melt and I'll be right back Going back, I've just set up my camera on a chair in front of me. Fortunately, the um, rice cooker came with a spoon and that's going to be good for mixing uh, this round. Now, because we've already used all of our wax pellets, the only ingredient we have to add now is the oil. And we're going to add it a bit at a time till it's the right consistency. So, what I'm going to do Pour in some oil, give it a bit of stir. What I might do is actually just turn that off because it's just uh, smoking a little bit. So I don't need it. I mean, it's molten now, so I don't need it to uh, keep heating up. So we'll mix that round, put our knife in, get that a good coating. Yeah, pull it out. I've got a cup of cold water here. I'll put it in there just so the wax goes hard. Right, and then we'll pull it out. Okay, now um, I can tell that that is too. You push it see the way it's um it's not sliding that's just uh it's almost there but it's uh it's crumbly more than anything yeah it's too crumbly we want a bit more oil in there so Put some more in, a bit more. Mix that together. You'll have enough lube here for about 82 years, I think, because you only need to coat your chain a little bit. Just put it in, coat it, ride it. You'll, you'll be amazed how clean your chain stays. Yeah, I do. I coat my cassette. My rear cassette goes in here after I've sonically cleaned it. My chain will go in. Um, I don't think I'll put my chain rings in it. You could technically just dip your uh, rear derailleur, I suppose. Technically. I'm not sure that it would do any good, but... Dip. <laughs> right. Here we go, look. See that instantly, see it's not um, rolling off. Yeah? See how it's changed since we first started. It's not rolling off anymore, it's just turning in, because the heat of my hand is like squidging it down. It's uh, making it into a paste almost, yeah? And that's the, that's the key, you want it almost like a paste. That's actually not bad. It's not close to uh, it's not close to the other one yet. I reckon we can go further still. There's not much left in there at all, and that's a litre pot. So um, this doesn't look like it's gonna melt off, yes it is, if I flap it around, it's just I've turned the heating off, so what I might do is just plug it back in, it's on warm, so, uh, okay, that's good, just I want you to see the process that I've had to go through, so, 
and that's what it looks like this time. Obviously there's a bit of water mixed in with this, um, which probably isn't ideal. Ooh, that looks very tasty. Let's just get some on my finger. Ow, that's warm. It's reasonably warm, not too bad there. Just checking that consistency. That's actually really good. So if we rub it on this knife, let's just take that for a dip. Because it's still hot, it's gonna, uh, I'm just gonna wait for that to cool. I'd be happy to use that. I think I'm going to stop there. That is, see the way it coats? It coats it, yeah? It coats it. That is pretty good. I like that a lot. And we're getting that similar effect. See the way it coats that knife? Yeah? So we've got oil and we've got the wax working in. Uh, there. I like it. Now I got hands full of wax. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's really good. <clears throat> yeah, I'm impressed with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Dead happy with that. That's really, really good. I should be using that on my chain and all my stuff. Yeah, that's perfect. Well happy. Alrighty. So, once I get all this cleaned up, um, like and subscribe for some more videos if you like that one. That's um, how to make some chain lube. And uh, we'll put that on when the bike's built. Thanks, take care, bye.